the newest Pokemon TCG set, Paradox Rift, has been revealed and pre-orders are starting to pop up. Now, in this video, I'm going to do a product guide going through each product and which is going to be the best product to buy for the set. And we're going to be judging that based off a price per pack basis. But before we get into that, let's go through a little bit of a set overview. Now, this set is releasing in November. The planned release date is November 3rd, but that is subject to change. And it has 13 Pokemon EX and 7 Terra Pokemon EX, 34 Illustration Rare Pokemon, 15 Special Illustration Rare Pokemon and Supporter Cards, 28 Ultra Rare Full Art Pokemon EX and Supporter Cards, and 7 Hyper Rare Gold Cards. So this is going to be an absolutely mammoth set. Going from 30 plus secret rares in Obsidian Flames to over 80 in Paradox Rift. So because I'm from the UK, I will be doing all the prices in pounds sterling. Let's just start off with a Paradox Rift booster pack. These retail for £4.29 and the release date is November. Now each you'll get 10 cards and 1 energy in each pack and obviously the packs can vary. That's for one single booster pack. Now let's move on to a booster box. Now the retail for this is £154.44 which brings the price per pack to £4.29 still. So you're not saving much money, but although most stores will have a booster box for considerably less than the retail price, most places have them for £115 to £120 in the UK. In a booster box, you get 36 Paradox Rift packs and each pack contains 10 cards and one energy. Booster boxes are gonna be one of the best ways to get a big bulk of the set straight away. Now, moving on to the Pokemon Center ETBs for Paradox Rift, there are two variants in this set. There is a Roaring Moon and an Iron Valiant variant. Now, the recommended retail price for these are $49.99, which brings the price per pack to £4.54, which is not too bad. In the ETBs, you get 11 booster packs. You also get two promos, one stamped with a Pokemon Center logo and one without. We get one pack of 65 sleeves, 45 energy cards, a player's guide for Paradox Rift, damage counters, a competition legal coin, condition markers, a box to hold everything and four dividers and a co-card for Pokemon Trading Card Game Live. We originally were told that the promos were going to be Screamtail and Iron Bundle. This has now been changed to just a Paradox Pokemon. It's likely going to be a Roaring Moon or Iron Valiant promo to match the Pokemon on the box, as we've seen with the other Scarlet and Violet from sets. Now moving on to just the standard Paradox Rift ETB. These also retail for £49.99, bringing the price per pack to £5.55. So they're a lot more expensive than just the Pokemon Center ETVs in terms of just value what you get from them. You get nine packs instead of 11. You get one full art promo, and it's the one without the stamp. Sleeves, energy cards, a player's guide, damage counter, competition legal coin, condition markers, box, and a co-card as well. Now moving on to the booster bundle. Now the recommended retail price for these is $23.94, and that brings the price per pack to £3.99. And in the booster bundle, you will get six Paradox Rift booster packs. Booster bundles actually bring the price down to what the old recommended retail price was for a single pack, which was $3.99. Moving on to Triple Blisters, my favorite product to open when a new set comes out. And the recommended retail price for these is £14.99, which means the price per pack is £4.99. You get three booster packs, you get one promo, which will be either a Titan or an Arctivax, and you get a code card for the Pokemon Trading Card Game Live. Then moving on to the single check lane blisters. These are one pack with a promo in. You, they recommend retail prices £5.99, so it's £5.99 for one pack. Like I said, you get one promo, one coin, and a code to use in Pokemon Trading Card Game Live. The promo will either be a Pinecoat or a Sinistee. You also have the premium check lane blisters, which is recommended retail price of £6.99. Price per pack is obviously £6.99. So you get one pack, a coin to use, a code card for Pokemon Trading Card Game Live, and a promo as well. Now moving on to the build and battle stadiums. Now these normally release a couple of weeks after the set has actually been released. Now with the release date being November 3rd for the actual main set release, build and battle stadiums aren't expected in until at least the 17th of November. Now the recommended retail price for these is $59.99, which means the price per pack is £5.45 per pack. You, with this, you get two individual build and battle boxes, which come with a 40 card deck and a promo. You get three additional Scarlet and, and Violet booster packs. So you get 11 packs in total. It comes with 121 energy cards, six damage counter dice, one competition legal coin, two condition markers, and a collector's box to hold everything in. 
one thing I haven't mentioned in this video is the build and battle boxes. These are pre-release kits that are given out to players that go and play at a pre-release event two weeks before the set comes out. I've not included it in this list just because they're not a product that you can buy specifically for the set. They are sort of a gift to entice players to come and play the game at local events. I'm very excited to see what Paradox Rift has in store for us. I cannot wait to see that Roaring Moon promo. I think it's going to be absolutely beautiful. I hope this video has helped people decide what they're going to buy for Paradox Rift and has hopefully given you an insight into which product holds the most value. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe for more Pokemon content and Pokemon news. I've been Pigeon, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.